Dory, Epic Failure, and 5850. In other words, AMD conquered the low end and middle end segment of GPU market for 2010 by beating up GTX 460 and 470 with a Radeon HD 6950 and Radeon HD 6970. All we know the biggest profit came from low-end and middle-end solutions and AMD was a clear leader on that. So they profited well during the whole 2010. First they profited on high-end during the beginning and then middle-end and low-end. So here's my suggestion for 2011 for those who's looking for 2010 GPUs. So in the end of 2010, the fastest and the most expensive GPU will be GeForce GTX 580. This GPU will make sense for those who have an extra $500 to burn away. Keep in mind, if you're not rich and you don't have that extra $500 to burn and forget, forget about it, I suggest you to go with the middle end because the middle end for 2011 will beat crap out of GeForce GTX 580. Keep that in mind. And it will cost less than $500. If you have $200 in your budget or $220 in your budget, I will suggest you to go ahead and buy Radeon HD 6950 less than uh, $200 but if Radeon HD 5870 cost $230 I suggest you go ahead and grab that if Radeon 6970 cost $300 you can overclock the Radeon HD 6950 and get, and get slightly faster GPU than 5870 stock but you can also overclock the 50, 5870 and if the price range is thirty dollars I suggest you to grab the 5870 okay if you have an extra hundred dollars to spend like 300 grab yourself radio HD 6870 or the better idea if you have three hundred dollars to spend grab yourself Radeon 5870 plus Radeon 5770 the deadly combination will give you a fast fast performance during the whole 2011 and um, you will beat HD 6970 any day and will get very close to GeForce GTX 570 and even sometimes beating 570 getting to 580 for a price range of 300 320 dollars I saw over at Newegg on December 30th yesterday 5870 for a price of 229 dollars and Radeon 5770 for a price of 95 dollars so price range three hundred twenty dollars three forty you will be beating anything but GeForce GTX 580 so think about it for those who got one seventy dollars I suggest you to get GeForce GTX for sixty one gigabyte version but stay away from SE version or add a little bit more cash and get yourself Radeon 6950. For those who got 100, 120 dollars, buy yourself a Radeon 5770. I saw lots of them for 95 dollars or 110 dollars over at Newark. Or if you're in different countries, and in the bad case, grab yourself a Radeon HD 
5750 1GB GDDR5 version and it should be cheaper by $10-$15 than Radeon HD 5770 if it's cheaper by $10 than Radeon 5770 I suggest you to grab 5770 otherwise grab yourself HD 5750 1GB version not 512 and overclock it to reach the performance of 5770 and save that extra $20 if that matters to you for those with low low budget guys folks out there who got less than $100 and there is no Radeon HD 5770 or 5750 around for that money where they live save and buy Radeon HD 5770 save like about a month more wait one month it's worth it or if you sure you cannot save more than go ahead and buy yourself a Radeon HD 5571 gigabyte version as again HD 5571 gigabyte version it's around seventy dollars over at New York in US if you see a GeForce GTS 250 around for less than eighty dollars grab that instead of Radeon 5570 but keep in mind the DirectX 11 picture will not be rendered for you with the Radeon GTS 250 only DirectX 9 or DirectX 10 however Radeon HD 5570 one gigabyte version will not be able to render game with DirectX 11 features at the good playable frame rate anyways so if you see around less than eighty dollars GeForce GTS 250 go ahead and grab it because GeForce GTS 250 will outperform Radeon HD 5570 any days with better frame rates but it will miss in DirectX 11 as again but at least at decent playable frame rates and good resolution you'll be able to play latest games it's better than 5570 if you can stay away from just a few effects of DirectX 11 there is no such a big deal of 5570 and DirectX 11 anyways the biggest failure in 2010 was a GeForce GTX 470 and the Radeon HD 5830 those two video cards has useless purposes and stay away from them thank you so much for watching my GPU 2010 review my name is Alexander Moroz and I wish you to be healthy wealthy and happy in 2011 stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you like this video see you later peace